So this is the front standard with the uh, the lens plane, as I call it. And essentially, this is uh, the construction. The box construction here is going to be pretty much the the perimeter is going to be pretty much exactly like I did the the back. It was just easier just to do one thing, uh, one design for front and back. Um, but what makes it different is uh, I've included the um, the ability to change out the lenses. I could have put just one solid piece of wood across, um, but uh, in the future if I decided I want to change lenses, this is the way to go. Uh, so um, I'll put that to the side for just now. Uh, so what I try to do is create a light trap. I'm, I'm hoping this will work. Uh, it, it, it's enough, but uh, if not, I might even decide to put like a little bead of uh, silicone around here or, or uh, something that uh, doesn't allow the light to get through, but it, sh it should work. Um, so I've got the front panel, and then on the back I just framed in uh, uh, the sides, and uh, I'm using these T-nuts so that the front, the screw on the front, goes through, and boom, just locks it into place. You can pick these up at uh, any hardware store. Uh, the trick that I did uh, decide, the trick to this that I found was that was helpful was when I, I marked off the holes, I tried to get it as centered as possible, but you can't be perfect. Um, so um, when I went to drill these holes, I put this board on the uh, the drill press, put the whole thing on the drill press at the same time, and then just drilled through. So I know that those are perfectly aligned, and then came back through the back and added the T nuts. But uh, even if I were to flip this board upside down, they're close, but uh, not quite. So got that. And the other thing that I did uh, was I used uh, I made another one of these. So in the future, uh, I already have a pre-made lens board with the holes here. I did not cut the hole for the lens. The, the lens itself is basically, I uh, picked this off at eBay. This is going to be a, uh, there we go, Let's see, it's a 360 uh, F9 lens. Uh, these were used for um, industrial copying. Um, and they're, they're relatively cheap. They've, they've got an aperture, but they don't have a shutter. But the great thing is, as it comes with a retaining ring. So I was able to just got a three inch hole cut, put that through there, and then I can put this through there. And if I wanted to, it's got some mounting screws, I can nail it in uh, or screw it in, or I can just you know friction it in. So it works out it works out pretty well. And I'm gonna do it right side up. Okay, boom. Uh, I probably won't use this. The great, the great thing about this little lens cap is it does screw off. And so I'll probably make a, um, a, a manual shutter where I can just cover it up. Um, I don't know if this is going to work well because of the way it closes in place, but it's just a damn cool lens cap.